Today we're going to do a little behind the scenes action and see how well the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 helps us create some nice solo B-roll. Actually with the number of shots I have planned, it's going to be more of a whole scene rather than just some B-roll shots. With the size and versatility of the Pocket 3, it should be easy to get a variety of unique shots and angles. I figure I'll do a bunch of shots of me taking a scenic walk to a nice place that I might plan on shooting. Other than the Pocket 3, the only other gear I'm going to bring are some ND filters, an extendable monopod, and the little tabletop tripod that came with the Pocket 3. After I'm done showing you how I set up all the shots, at the end of the video I'll show you how it looks all edited and polished up. Let's get started and see how the Pocket 3 does. The first shot is going to be a nice wide establishing shot to show where this scene takes place. We're going to get up over these hedges and take a couple different shots and see which one turns out the best. After the establishing shot, we're going to go to where the scene takes place and get a nice wide shot of me starting out my walk. We're going to set up the Pocket 3 right in the middle of the sidewalk over here. For this next shot, I'm going to put the camera in this little area behind the bushes and see how it looks as a close-up of my feet as I walk by, or as a medium shot from the side when I walk by. We'll use whichever turns out best between the two. This shot I'm going to get me walking into this covered bridge area, so the lighting is going to change pretty drastically. I think I'll stop the clip right after I walk through this giant water puddle. Make sure you check out the finished scene at the end of this video so you can see how I turn this one shot into both A-roll and B-roll clips just with some simple editing. For the second shot in the covered bridge area, I thought it'd look cool using this pillar to cover the whole right side of the screen and have me walking past it. I'll also have something to add to this shot in the final edited scene. Here I'll have me walking out of the dark bridge area and into the bright outdoors where I'll be continuing my walk. This will be a wide shot just to show you how large this bridge actually is. For this shot, I thought it'd be cool to put the camera behind these trees and get a shot of me walking past the fountain through the trees here and hopefully get focus on me and not the trees. I put the camera on single shot focus, so we'll see how that works out. Okay, this area is the perfect place to use the tracking feature with the Pocket 3 because I'm going to be coming out of this area and I'm going to be turning the corner and going down the stairs. So that'll provide a nice smooth transition when I'm changing directions. Let's see how it looks. Okay, for this shot I put the little tabletop tripod on and I'm going to put it on the end of this ledge here and I'm going to get a close-up of me walking past it and walking down the stairs. Okay, here I'm just going to get some quick b-roll footage of my feet while I'm walking down the stairs. I'll put the camera here and point it up the stairs so it can catch me as I walk by. Okay, for these last few shots I'll be walking past these shrubs and I'll cut through an area and I'll stand on a rock overlooking the place that I'll possibly be shooting at. Let's see how it turns out. All right, let's see how this scene turns out with all these clips edited and put together. 